Would you like to see great prompts used by different professionals in multiple industries written by the best and most experienced people on the planet? Now OpenAI just released a list of 200 of those with the entire prompt and all the attachments and how they were used. Now, I don't like lists of 200 prompts you must use today, but this is an interesting database to dig into, to get ideas and to get inspired. Let's have a look. So jumping straight in, here's the database. And then I'll explain why they released it, the context. But what, they ha what we have here is 220 prompts organized by sector, occupation, and then the prompt and the attachments. So for example, there's one here for accountants. You are a mid-level tax preparer at an accounting firm, and here, here it explains what they need to do to create an individual tax return. We can scroll to the right, and we can see here the attachments they, were give, they gave it, and we can copy the link and open it in a new tab. And there we go. So we can see the actual attachments. If they are PDF, they usually open here. If they are a, um, a spreadsheet, they get downloaded, but you can see all the details. And there's so much more. So if we go back to the list, there are administrative service managers and child, family, and school social workers. There are tasks for computer information and information systems managers, for concierge, for so many different professionals, vid film and video editors. You are an edit a video editor in California, and one of your clients is an agency specializing in progressive social political campaigns. Wow. All right. You can read the prompt. Some of them are very long. Some of them are not very long. They are all very interesting for me. Now, why did they release all of this? What's the context? So they released this paper called the GDP Val, and they describe it. I'll give you the link to where they describe it here. But basically what they did is they went through and they selected 44 occupations um, from the top nine industries contributing to US GDP. They then crafted 1,320 tasks written by experts and they published 220 of them for us. And they gave the tasks to multiple AIs and to humans. And then they had other humans blindly compare them, the results, and say if it was better, equal, or worse. Which one was better, equal, or worse? And we can see here the GPT-5, 38.8% um, of the time, did the tasks better or equally as well as the humans. And Claude, 47.6% of the times. And I showed this to a group of accountants in an online meetup. And one of them said, well, 38% of the time is not good enough. And I thought, really? If I gave you an employee that does a task better than all your other employees, 38% of the times, does it 100 times faster, costs you 30 US dollars a month, and keeps getting better all the time, would you hire them? I know I would. And so that's the case for using AI. Um, the other interesting bit is we can go into the actual paper with a lot more detail. And the fun part here is where they show us the details on each specific um, industry and professional. So I'm just scrolling down in these colorful charts. What we see here is, for example, for software developers here, we can see how the percentage that of times that each engine, Claude GPT-5, uh, did better or equal to the humans. And we can see that with software developers, the AI did better than the humans in most of the en engines did significantly better than the humans. And we can go and see a breakdown for different sectors and professions. So that's really interesting. What I think you should do with all of that, well, I found it really interesting and inspire, inspiring reading. I think that it's interesting to go into the detail of the profession you're in and see what's happening there. They also talk about what kinds of tasks um, the AI did better than humans. And it turns out that GPT-5 did better than humans on accuracy, not on presentation, whereas Claude excelled in presentation as well. We know that presentation formatting, organizing the information is something they get better at all the time. So we can see the trend and where this is going. What I think you should do, have a look, have a look in your industry, have a look at the industries of your clients, the sectors where they are in and what it, in, what it means for them. And more than anything, sit with your team and dig into those prompts and see what you can learn from them and how you can prompt better and maybe things that you didn't think of using AI for that you can. 
have fun and let me know what you find.